to attend. All right, so welcome everyone to our Early Learning and Child Care Program presentation for the Northern Lakes College. We're glad to have you this evening. Thank you for joining us. Um, it is our virtual open house evening, so there's lots of options to attend various <clears throat> presentations on programs. So I see we have um, three potential students. I'm not sure if you've already applied and you're just coming in to listen to the presentation or if you're interested in applying. Um, and so we have Serena, and I'm probably not going to pronounce this right. If you want to use your mic, you're welcome to. Uh, Tajender, do I have that right? That's right. That's right. Oh, okay. Okay, good. And I'm, I'm definitely not going to do this one very well. Um, Gerbakshish, did I get that right? I'm not sure. Okay. And then we have Teresa who's just joined us. Thank you for joining us, Teresa. We're just getting started. So we have a few slides to go through. You'll hear that little bit of beeping in the background. That's just other programs and information sort of popping up. I've tried to mute it, but it, it uh, doesn't want to be muted. <laughs> um, let me just try this one more time. Let me just try this one more time and see if we can't, can't do this. Okay, that one is, and we'll try and mute this one here as well. Sorry about this, I just would rather not be doing that there in the background. We'll try. Okay. Um, so again, thank you for joining us. Let's go ahead and get started. So a couple of things um, about the early, oh, did I skip ahead two slides? Oh, no, I see. Um, so a couple of things as we get started, you might be wondering what um, different types of certifications there are out there for early childhood educators. Um, the certification in Alberta is referred to as level one, level two and level three. And I'll talk about um, which uh, requirements you need to have in order to achieve those certification levels. So we're going to talk about both programs tonight, the certificate program and the diploma program. Uh, so those are the different types of certification you can have. Um, pay at those levels is going to vary from hourly to salary. This just gives sort of a current average rate within Alberta. Um, this can vary depending on your location, depending on your hours that you're working, um, if it's salary, and it can uh, vary on, um, of course, the levels of certification you have. So at a level one, as an early childhood educator, the current average is around $18 per hour. And as you would suspect, as you go up in levels, it increases to 21 and then $25 per hour. A couple of things to just kind of keep in mind in terms of working conditions and duties. What sorts of things would you be doing with this type of certification? Um, well, you can work part time or full time. Um, when we refer to centers here, large or small centers, we're referring to places like daycares, um, preschools, um, any sort of center that works with children from birth up to age five, but also keeping in mind that sometimes these centers or daycares or agencies will also have before school care and after school care programs. Um, typically speaking, Monday to Friday, uh, hours can vary again depending on the center that you're working at. Some have extended evening hours for parents who work late um, and maybe even possibly weekends maybe for day homes. Um, we have to keep up with the children. They're always on the move. So this is sort of, um, you know, applies to any age group that you're going to be working with. Children, of course, are very active. And so part of our job is uh, being active with them. Other things to keep in mind um, that we are in a position that allows children to feel secure, comfortable and safe. We have a very important role for building children's social and interpersonal skills and developing a 
positive self-concept with them. We encourage with children that we work with co-learning, that means learning together from each other and with us as educators, co-seeking and problem-solving skills. These are all terms and words that you'll hear regularly in the program. Um, and we work together to help establish the child's self-image as one that is a strong and capable citizen. You can see there's a quick, oh, okay, message there in the text chat. All right. So where can you work? We kind of mentioned this when I said centers before. Um, that can be at a daycare, different levels working at a daycare, whether level one, level two, level three. A level three is usually more of an administrative position, supervisory role, working as a, a director or administrator. You could work at a preschool program, um, at a Head Start program. You could work in a kindergarten classroom as an educational assistant. Um, so you would not be the teacher in this case, but the EA in this case. You could work as a, in a family day home. Most of the day homes with our students in our programs are, um, are run by larger organizations. Um, you could be working in an out-of-school care program, uh, in a family support program. If you think of your smaller communities, there's lots of supportive programs like ParentLink, for example. Those kinds of programs uh, you can also be working in, or even as a nanny. Why might this be a good choice for you, this career? Um, well, it's very flexible. You can work part-time you can work full time. If you have a passion for working with children and their families and you want to make that difference, this is a great career choice for you. Um, if you like to engage in play and you have that playful side of you uh, for working with children and playing with children, this is a great career choice. As we saw in the previous slide, there are so many different options for uh, employment, right? Um, so that's another another possibility as well, or just nice flexibility that you can sort of look at different age groups to work with. You're not relegated to working with babies. You're not relegated to working with after school care uh, age groups. You have lots of options that way. And really, there's just never a dull moment. We talk all the time about, um, we have that little slogan here on the bottom that says kids say the darndest things. That's because they do. Each day is new. It presents new experiences. Um, and so you, you definitely will not get bored in this type of career. We've had Dorothy join us. Hi, Dorothy. Glad you could join us. If you're interested in getting more information, there are three websites here. I won't go to them um, right now, um, but there are some images along the bottom of what those websites look like. The first one here at the top is talks about the occupation as an early childhood educator. Um, this is a great little video. It gives you a bit of a visual. Um, this website, ALIS, is also great for um, if you scroll down on this page with this link, um, there are different job postings available in Alberta. So you get an idea of sort of what kind of jobs are out there, what's the pay like, what are the requirements. Um, so that's a really nice resource for you. Um, where else can you find information? Right here, the Alberta Child Care Staff Certification Guide. And this website in the middle here will actually, as you scroll down, link to this certification uh, guide here as well. So this sort of outlines different levels of certification, course equivalencies. Um, uh, there's a whole host of information on this on this website. Okay. Um, yeah, any questions? I think I feel like I'm going a little bit fast. Feel free to raise your hand or turn on your mic if you're not quite too sure. Okay, here's where we'll talk about those level one, two, and three, um, about this program at the Northern Lakes College. So here at the college, we have a certificate program and a diploma program. And I'm probably getting a little bit ahead of myself here, um, but each of the programs is a one-year full-time program. And I'll go into a few more details about that later. 
The first program you would take is this one here in the middle. It's a certificate program. Once you've completed that program, you are eligible to be certified as a level two child care worker in the province of Alberta. Now within this program, in this certificate program, there is a course that you will take, one of the 10 courses you take, which is called CDEV or Child Development 101. Once you've taken this course, if you take it, let's say in term one, and you finish it in December, you start in September and you finish it in December, you are actually eligible for a level one certification at that time. And that's what the requirement is in Alberta for a level one is a course in so many hours of experience and, and um, knowledge in child development. Then, and I'll get to your question in just one second, and so then once you finish the certificate program, you're eligible for level two, and when you finish the certificate, if you want to go on to the diploma, once you complete that, you are then eligible for a level three certification. Yes, go ahead. Okay, so like first we have to do the completion of CDEV, right? Well, you don't just do that course first, you enroll in the certificate program. Um, what we're just saying is in Alberta, there's three levels of certification and you take the CDEV course in the certificate program. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, and absolutely feel free to add, put up your hand and ask questions. If you're not sure where to do that, just along the bottom of your screen, there's a little person with their hand up, and that's where you would click if you have a question. Um, program delivery. We get questions about this all the time. The great thing about Northern Lakes College is that we are very flexible in our delivery. So we have we consider ourselves live, online, and asynchronous, which means we are anytime and anywhere. So what this looks like is Monday through Friday, there are courses, one a day, that are delivered live, online, at a specific time. But those courses are all, or those classes, sorry, are all recorded. So if you are working full time during the day, which many of our students are, and you're concerned about that, well, I can't attend that live online class, no worries, it's recorded. You can access it in the evenings or anytime in a 24 seven, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, once that class has been recorded. So we are very flexible um, with student schedules, or maybe you're taking the live online classes and um, you know, you are sick one day, so you can't attend one day, no worries, because you can access the recordings. How do we deliver our program? Well, just like we're doing tonight, the class would be like this. And I actually haven't shared my camera tonight. I can do that to sort of say hi to you later. Sometimes with this many people on the system, um, we don't have the, the greatest uh, bandwidth, um, but I think we should be okay tonight. So just like we're doing tonight. This is how your classes would be delivered um, through Collaborate Ultra. But where do you find that link? Well, this D2L or Brightspace, they're the same thing, is sort of your online learning platform. So this is a website that we provide to you that you go to and you would have a D2L page, we call it, for each one of your courses. So this is, that would be your learning platform. And that's where we post PowerPoints, maybe some videos for you to watch or articles to watch. That's where you would also find the link to click on to attend your classes. So we use D2L Brightspace, and I shouldn't say or Collaborate Ultra, it should say and Collaborate Ultra. We use both. Okay? Collaborate Ultra is the live online class, and D2L is the learning platform that we use. Yes, go ahead. How do you pronounce your name? Can you tell me that, please? Gurbakshish Kaur. Gurbaksh. Or just, Gurbakshish. Or just um, short name, Semi. Short name, sorry? Semi. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. What was your question? I want to ask, like, for the D12 thing, 
Are okay. we supposed to make a login thingy or are you guys going to give the username and the password? Yeah, so once you apply to the program, we give you a student ID number. Um, and once you're admitted to the program, you would, there's a link right from our website that you would log into where you can access your new email address account. You would access you would access what we call D2L from a direct link on the website after you've logged in and on those D2L pages is where you find your class links. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Um, so another popular question we get was how long is the program? Um, well, it depends on if you are a full-time student or a part-time student. So the certificate program is one year full time. We have 38 weeks in there just to give you an idea. If you were to start in September, you would finish in the end of June full time. Um, you might start in January. That might be when you want to start. Um, then you would go January to the following December. Um, and if you chose to start in May, um, which is term three, many of you might be thinking about starting in May this year, uh, you would go May to the end of June next year. It just depends on where you start in the program. But it's essentially one year full time or if you only want to do part time studies, you feel like full time might be too much, then you can take two years, sometimes even a little bit longer, but two years at the minimum for part time studies. And that could be two courses per term. It might be one course per term. Some students will do a semester part-time, then decide they want to do the next semester full-time, or the exact opposite. They might start in September and do full-time and, and find that it's too much work and they want to switch to part-time in January. We are very flexible in making those accommodations. Okay, So you can start um, in September, January or May, we call these term one or the fall term, term two or the winter term, and term three or the spring term. Um, you might also ask, hi Serena, yes, go ahead. Um, is the certificate program, is that the level two or is that the level one? That's correct, it's the level two program. Um, so the level and we, two, sorry. Oh, no, no, go ahead. So the level two program, if you're doing it full time, it only takes one year. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, admission requirements, another popular question. Um, the admission requirements are that you need credit in either English 30-1, English 30, um, or 60% in English 30-2 or English 33. In Alberta, these numbers have changed, um, you know, depending on when you took your English course. So it might be English 33, or if you've taken it more recently, it would be English 30-2. And you need a 60% in that or just credit, meaning you've passed English 30-1 or, or English 30. Okay. Or, the college also has a course called English 0190. If you have credit in this English class, then that also meets the admission requirement. Now you might be thinking, um, oh no, I don't have any of these um, English credits, or perhaps your English that you took was not in Canada, or your second language that you took was not in Canada, then we have we do still have an option. We have what's called an English AccuPlacer test. Um, and I always hesitate to use the word test. It's an assessment that we do. You don't get a percentage from zero to 100. It's sort of a rating scale of score that you will get. Um, and we have lots of students that go this route who don't meet the English requirements. So they take the AccuPlacer test. It's like a fluency test. Um, the college sets that up for you after you've applied. So if you've applied but you don't meet that requirement, they will let you know. Um, they give you a number to call where you can book this test. 
um, and you set that up. Plus, they also give you the resources or links to try some practice tests. So you don't, so you know what you're going into when you take this AccuPlacer test. Um, outside of that, our transcripts and documents are reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. We try to work with the students so that we can gain them admission with the different resources we have or with the educational background that the student has. Okay. Um, another common question, oh, I better hurry up here, huh, looking at time, is the cost of the program. As you can see, it's a little over $5,000 for full time, that's the whole year. Um, those are for this year, this number will go up, or sorry, I shouldn't say it will go up, it, will, it could possibly change for next year. If it does, I wouldn't anticipate a huge change, but this number specifically is for 2021, 2022. And that includes everything except books, which is hard to give you an estimate for because students purchase them in different ways. Um, some students get them from previous students or they get them secondhand. Some purchase rental online ebooks. Um, some purchase brand new. So it's really hard to give you an idea of what that cost would be. Okay, um, and then the diploma program, once you finish the certificate, if you find that you would like to go on to the diploma program for your level three certification, very, very similar. You would be one year full-time or two years part-time. Again, you can start September, January, or May. The requirement for English remains the same, but you would really already have this. So really the only change here is that in order to take the diploma program, you have to have completed the Early Learning and Child Care Certificate program in Alberta. Now, if you completed this outside Alberta, you can still submit your certificate to have those transcripts reviewed again on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. You'll notice the cost is just a little bit more in the diploma program, and that's because there's one more course in the diploma program than the certificate program. Okay. I'll just give you a couple seconds to have a look at this. Um, these are all the courses that you would see um, in going to circle this here. My hand is never very steady. In the level two in the certificate program, these are all courses that you would see across. Um, I thought maybe they were in order of terms, but nope, they're not. Um, so you can see you have an English language class, some introductory classes. Here's that child development class that when you take this course at any time in the program, when you take it, whether it's in the first year um, as a full-time student, or perhaps you don't take it till second year as a part-time student, once you have it, you're eligible for your level one certification. Okay, you'll see there's two practicums, one practicum of 150 hours and a second practicum of 250 hours. Okay. And then, um, as you can see, oops, sorry, one second, the diploma program right beside it. Okay, we have our, there we go. You can see there's one more course, having a look at this one here. Um, again, two practicums. First practicum is 150, the second practicum is 250. And <clears throat> you can see some of the courses are more um, we have a couple of university studies courses, ethics and introduction to Aboriginal issues. Um, we also have another English survey of literature for young children. That's also a university studies course. Over here, the English 1000 and the Communications 1000 are both university studies courses. So if you were continuing on into university studies, you already will have a couple of courses that will transfer to that program. Right. Yes, go ahead. I'm um, just want to clear out the practicum. The practicum, practicum is the exam, right? Practicum is the on-site learning experience. So you're on-site at a daycare, for example, where you complete those hours. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah. 
Okay, great questions. Okay. Um, so where can you get more information? These are the links provided directly from our website to the certificate program or to the diploma program. Or you can call this toll-free number as well. They'll probably direct you to me um, and I can answer those questions. So feel free to um, call me if you have a question or check out on the website more information about the program. Um, again, why would you take this early learning program from the Northern Lakes College? Well, I might be a little bit biased, but I think we have a fabulous program and I think we have fantastic instructors who genuinely care about your success. You get a lot of support, extra support through the Northern Lakes College. We really want to see students succeed, so we are there to help meet your learning needs. We are very flexible in our delivery, part-time, full-time, one course a term, two courses a term, um, attending live online, accessing as a full-time employee, listening to the recordings in the evenings. We are affordable, okay, well in line with other programs. Um, lots of support, like I mentioned. So for example, we have a Northern Lakes College tutor. We have educational support services. So if you have any um, learning needs that need to be addressed, we can do that as well. And we have lots of transferability to other programs. So again, I mentioned we have here at the college a university studies program. Um, and we also have a partnership with the University of Calgary to take the Bachelor of Community Education program where you're essentially taking all of your courses through the Northern Lakes College with the exception of a couple of on-site, short on-site um, times where you would need to be at the, um, at the University of Calgary. Okay, and you can even check that program out tonight as well. Um, there's also another little Oh, you know, a session that you can go to for university studies. Um, what else? I'll finish this off because we're getting a little bit past. So a couple of things. We have prizes, which I believe you could, before you came into the session, you could go in and enter your name into for those prizes. We are recording this. So if you do know someone that maybe perhaps wants to listen to the recording because they couldn't attend tonight, this will be posted to our website, but make sure you enter into the draw for this great backpack that we have and water bottle. Um, also, if you are going to apply to a program at the Northern Lakes College, take advantage um, of the no application fee, which only occurs today. So if you apply to any program today, we have waived the $50 application fee. Okay, so you, you will not have to pay for that. Um, and yeah, that's it for tonight. For this session, we do have other sessions, as I mentioned, if you want to pop into those rooms as well. We also have um, some confidential one on one sessions if you wanted to meet with the admission specialist. If you're concerned about the requirements to for admission, uh, we also have Cleo who's available to talk about student awards, the student association for a drop in coffee house. We have student success services. They will talk about the library accessibility. If you have any learning needs that need to be addressed or you wanted to talk about. Um, and I, you know, I think that's about it. We have a few other things with academic upgrading and basic education and of course our other programs we offer at the college. And otherwise that's it. I really thank you all for coming. Um, does anybody have any questions? Feels like a lot of information to throw out <laughs> in a short period of time. Yes, Tejinder, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, which should we apply now only through your website? I absolutely would because you won't have to pay the $50 application fee. Okay. So when you go to the website, mm -hmm. um, right through the, I'll go back a couple of slides here. So if, which one are you looking at applying to? Level two, the certification. Oh, the, the, okay, perfect. So when you go to this website here, you'll click on it um, there. When you scroll down, there's an apply now 
little link button. And when you go in there, you can select whether you want to start in May term three or the fall term one in September of 2022. Okay. So those two options are available right now. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. But after tonight, uh, yeah. tomorrow you'll have to pay that $50 fee again. That option goes away. Oh, okay. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. You're, you're very welcome. Anyone else have a question? Robin, do you have anything you wanted to add? No, I don't think so. Thank you, Heidi. You covered that very well. <laughs> I feel like I've missed stuff or I've rushed stuff, but but um, if you you know if you needed to hear any more information, you can always come back at seven o'clock and uh, catch the next session or feel free to attend any one of the other sessions. Don't forget to enter for your prize. All right, thanks everyone. Have a great evening.